क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन से That consider a Young's double slit arrangement in which slit width ratio is one is to four. If I note is the maximum intensity of interference pattern, that intensity of the pattern at point where phase difference between waves is sixty degree will be. Now, dear students, the net intensity at any point can be written to be equal to I one plus I two plus two root I one I two. Multiplied by cos phi, where phi is the phase difference between the waves, and I one and I two are respective intensities. Also, the intensities are in ratio of the slit widths, where B one and B two are widths of the slits. Therefore, this one we can write that I one by I two is equal to one by four, which means I two is equal to four I one. Now, if the Intensity of one of the slits is I, then the intensity of other slit should be four I. The maximum intensity is equal to when the phase difference phi is zero degree. We can write that maximum intensity is I plus four I because I one is I and I two is four I as we have taken plus two under root of four I square into cos zero. Now this will be equal to phi Y. Plus four i, that is nine i. The maximum intensity is given to be i naught. Therefore, this one, this is i naught. We can write that i is equal to i naught by nine. Now, the students, we have to find out the intensity when the phase difference is sixty degrees. Therefore, i net would be i plus four i plus two under root of four i square. Into cos 60, which will be equal to 5i plus 2i, that is 7i. Substituting the value of i to be equal to i not by 9, we can write the net intensity to be 7 into i not by 9. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the next question in the test, which is question number. 22 question number 22 says that the distance between the second maxima and the fifth minima of a double slit pattern is 5 mm and the slits are separated by 0.30 mm if screen is at a distance 100 cm from slits then wavelength of the light used is now dear students the location of nth maxima is equal to n lambda Capital D by small d, where lambda is the wavelength, capital D is the distance of the screen from the slits, and small d is the separation between the slits. N is the order of the maxima, which is equal to zero, one, two, and so on. Now, dear students, the distance of the nth minima from the center of the screen is equal to two n plus one lambda d by two d, where Capital D is the distance of the screen from the slits. Small d is the slit separation, and lambda is the wavelength, and n is again zero, one, two, and so on. Integral values. Now, dear students, the location of the second maxima is equal to two lambda d by d, and the location of the fifth minima can be written to be equal to two into four. Plus one into lambda d by two d, that is nine lambda d by two d. Dear students, we must note that n is equal to zero denotes the first minima, n is equal to one denotes the second minima, two denotes the third minima, and four. Dear students, we must note that n is equal to zero denotes the first minima, one denotes the second minima, two denotes the third minima, three denotes the fourth minima, and the four denotes The fifth minima. Now, dear student, the distance between these two fringes is given to be equal to five millimeters. Therefore, nine lambda capital D by two D minus two lambda capital D by small d is given to be equal to five millimeter. That is five into ten raised to power minus three. Now, substituting the given values, we can write that nine into lambda capital D is given to be hundred centimeters. 
that is 100 into 10 raised to power minus 2 divided by 2 small t is given to be equal to 0 0.3 into 10 raised to power minus 3 that is 0 0.3 millimeters minus 2 lambda into 100 into 10 raised to power minus 2 that is capital D divided by 0 0.3 into 10 raised to power minus 3 is equal to 5 into 10 raised to power minus 3. Now the students on solving this expression we can find out the value of lambda which will be equal to 600 into 10 raised to power minus 9 or 600 nanometers. Therefore the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 3. Now dear students let us proceed to the question number 23. Question number 23 says a Young's double slit experiment setup is completely submerged in a transparent liquid which is of following graphs best represents the variation of total number of fringe n observed on the screen with the refractive index mu of the liquid. Assume that the screen has a finite size. Now dear students the number of fringes can be written to be equal to L by beta where L is the screen size and beta is the fringe width. Now dear students if L is the screen size beta can be written to be equal to lambda capital D by small d so small d comes upwards. Now dear students in a refractive index mu lambda can be replaced by lambda by mu therefore n can be written to be equal to dl by lambda by mu into d which can be further simplified to be written as mu dl by lambda capital D. Therefore, dear students, we can see that n is coming out to be proportional to mu. And the only graph which represents this relationship is graph number 1 because here n is proportional to mu and therefore the graph should be linear. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the question number 24. Question number 24 is a theoretical question which says that among the following, Choose the incorrect statement about diffraction phenomena. Option number 1 says diffraction confirms wave nature of light. So dear students this is a correct statement and therefore it won't be our answer because diffraction actually confirms the wave nature of light. Option number 2 which says that the light waves are diffracted only when the size of obstacle is comparable to the wavelength of the light. This is also a correct statement and therefore it cannot be our answer. The diffraction actually occurs when the obstacle or the size of the obstacle has a size which is comparable to the wavelength of light. Option number 3 says that the amount of bending of light does not depend on the size of the obstacle or wavelength of light. Dear students, this is an incorrect statement because the amount of diffraction depends on the size of the obstacle and its comparison with the wavelength of light. Therefore, the incorrect statement answer should be option number 3. Now dear students let us proceed to question number 25. Question number 25 says using Huygens principle which of the following can be proved. Dear students law of reflection can actually be proved using Huygens principle. Second option law of refraction. Law of refraction is also provable using Huygens principle and the concept of wavelets and wavefronts. Option number 3 which says photoelectric effect. Dear students photoelectric effect cannot be explained using Huygens principle. But photoelectric effect can be explained by considering the particle nature of light. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question should be both 1 and 2, that is option 4. Now, let us proceed to the next question, which is question number 26. 